Hi traders and welcome to our next analysis video where we're going to be looking at pick and pay group. Before we get started, uh, please note as always that I'm not a financial advisor so everything I say in this video should be taken as my opinion only and not financial advice. And um, as always, if you like what you're seeing on this channel, please uh, like the video and subscribe to our channel and check below for all the links to our free Telegram channel, our trading platform where you can get a free demo and our website where you can uh, join our subscription service. So without wasting any more of your time, let's have a look at pick and pay straight after this intro. So we just start here on pick and pay's website, um, pick and pay investor.co.za. Basically, just to get an idea of what they do, um, we all know the brand Pick and Pay. Um, they have three brands and 90,000 employees, 1,795 stores, and have made a turnover of 86.3 billion rand. Um, their brands are Pick and Pay, Boxer, and TM Supermarkets. Um, if you just uh, scroll down a little bit further, give a little bit more info on each brand. I mean, we all know Pick and Pay, we're very familiar with that brand, Boxer is uh, middle to lower income shoppers in South Africa and Swaziland or Eswatini. And then TM Pick and Pay Group has a 49% investment in it and it is based in Zimbabwe. So let's go have a look at the chart and see what the technicals have been doing up to this point. Yeah, as always, we're on the Velocity Trader platform. Like I said at the top of the video, if you want to open up a demo or live account with Velocity Trader, all the links are in the description below this video. So we've got data back to 2011. Um, since then, it started 2011 at about 46 Rand a share, went and made this um, all time low at about 35 Rand, and it's kind of been bouncing up and down ever since with a nice rise in 2016. Um, the all time high was around 84 rand per share and then it's consolidated downwards and it's been down all the way to September 2020 and been recovering slowly since then. Currently the share price is at around 54 rand per share. If you have a look over here we have a bit of a support level forming over here which could mean that it might bounce off from where it currently is and continue upwards a little bit. So let's go look at the fundamental side and see how the company is doing from a financial perspective. As always, first we look at the revenue and the earnings and the cash flow situation. Um, we've got the revenue chart over here. Back to 2015, they were at 66 billion Rand per year and they've been on a steady increase ever since. Um, with a slight dip here yeah, early 2020, um, but their last results were 97.255 billion Rand per year. You change that to their earnings. Um, their earnings have also been pretty good, mostly an increase. Um, started at uh, in 2014 at 745.6 million Rand per year, um, with their peak over here in 2018. 1.4 billion Rand per year. Um, they had a decline in 2020, but that's, um, as with most companies, had a decline in 2020. I uh, went down to about 966.6 million Rand per year. And at the moment, they're at 1.1 billion Rand per year profit margin. Their free cash flow um, had a quite a large dip here in 2017. Um, and they went into the negative at minus 289 million Rand per year. And then they rose nicely after that to a high of 3.685 billion per year. Currently on a bit of a downturn and their free cash flow is at 2.195 billion per year. If we just have a look at these notes over here, um, let's say they, that Pick and Pay has quality earnings, high quality earnings, and their profit margin has been growing. Um, while it says growing, it's actually remained the same, 1.1%, 1 
and 1.1% this year. So if we just go back to this chart with the revenue and the earnings on the chart, you'll see uh, their profit margin was 1.1 in 2015, went up to 1.6 at a point, 1.7, and currently it's at 1.1 again. Next thing we look at is the debt and equity um, levels. The equity, as, as you can see on the graph over here, has been quite a bumpy ride, lots of ups and downs, um, with a high in December 2018 of 4.317 billion rands in equity. Took a massive dip down here, went to 2.32 billion rand, and kind of been sideways since then, they're now at 2.92 billion rand. If we have a look at their debt, um, this is not a great picture. Um, back in 2015, they had 1.198 billion rand in debt, um, and it's been quite a steady climb. Um, and currently sitting at very high levels of 6.473 billion rand in debt. If you add those two over the chart together, you can see um, that they were they were doing better up until um, 2019 where their debt was higher we became higher than than their equity so and we were sitting at 103 percent debt to equity ratio um, and ever since then they've been in a bit of a bad situation um, currently sitting with a massive 221.5 percent debt to equity ratio which is definitely not a good sign. Having said that, um, you can see that Pick and Pay has more cash than its total debt. Um, however, its debt to equity ratio has increased from 23% to 221.5% over the past five years, uh, which is a massive increase, almost tenfold. Um, its debt, however, is well covered by its operating cash flow, and um, its interest payments are not well covered, which uh, is another red flag. Lastly, we look at the intrinsic value of the share. Um, if the share is undervalued, that's always a good sign um, that it has um, potential for future growth. The share, um, on the other hand, is overvalued. As you can see, uh, their calculations indicate that a fair value would be 43 Rand 69, and it's currently at 54 Rand 26, which is a 24.2% overvalue, which is not a good sign for future growth. As you can see here, pick and pay is trading above our estimate of fair value, which is 43 Rand 69. Basically in, in different words, pick and pay is trading above the estimate of fair value. So on the whole, um, the way things are looking at the moment for pick and pay, I wouldn't suggest that you make any um, hasty decisions to invest in them. Um, let's see if their price um, goes a bit down and uh, maybe it'll be a better place to enter an investment on pick and pay. So the only thing left for us to do now is to go and have a look at our wheel and see what share we'll be looking at in the next video. Okay, so in our next video, we'll be looking at INP, which is Investec PLC. Um, it'll be very interesting to have a look at this one because we haven't looked at any of the banking shares yet. So I hope to see you in the next video. Um, have a good weekend and cheers.